Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of June 23rd. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed. And for all the thumbs up on the videos that you've watched. And the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, the first card out. Ooh, making a decision. And it's a difficult one for you. You've been weighing the options for quite some time. Maybe even put them on the side table, not trying to deal with anything right this week. But you're realizing that that's not accomplishing anything as well. So this is the week you're making a, a decision that has probably been put off for quite some time. Yes, for sure. The Page of Swords. Yeah, there's new ideas here. Creativity, knowledge, taking the right steps going forward. You know, and this could be a relationship that, like I said, is taking a little bit of a dip here. And you're making your stand. You know, this is going to be like a storm warning, you know. A disagreement of a stronger proportion. You know, you, you fight fair, but you're tired of how he's feeling like you have to fight or defend your, your choices and circumstances. So you're going to definitely tell somebody exactly how you're feeling. And the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, these are the fruits of your labor. You're rewarding yourself. You're okay with spending a little bit of money at you know, getting yourself something that you've wanted to get for quite a while. And it can be something small. It doesn't have to be like a, you know, a car or anything like that. It can be just something so simple that you've thought about buying for quite some time and you've just never done it. And this is the week that you're rewarding your, your labor because you've, you know, put a lot of hard work into things in order to save for your own comforts. And this is something that you know will make you feel comfortable. And the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's a trip here for many of you. You know, an unexpected trip. You're getting invited or you're just getting a, a ticket and deciding that, you know what, I'm going to take a trip. I can do this. And you're just off and going. But it looks like for many of us, you're having a few questions in the areas of your relationships. You know, whether they're worth the energy and time and effort or it's time to cut them loose and, and know that it's time to change different things. And the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you just want things more harmonious, happy, not always questioning your motives and your you know, your movements. If there's a problem, you'll solve it, but you want to do it fairly. You know, you've understood that there's times that things need to change, but you're doing it on a, a higher note. You know, you're not sinking to the level of, you know, saying things or doing things to the, to the point of just trying to hurt somebody because you're, you know, ticked off at the world. No, you're actually doing it with forethought. And you're trusting in yourself. Ten of Pentacles, look at that. Wealth, inheritance, finance, security. You know, you want uh, longevity for your family moving forward in the future. And you will succeed. But you want to hang on to what it is that you have already, what you've accomplished. You know, this could be an inheritance that you've received. And now you want to make sure that it stays within the family. And the only way you can do that is by guarding yourself. And that's what you're doing here. You're taking the, the steps necessary to make sure that it's, you know, secure for the long term going forward for you and yours. And the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you definitely have the courage and confidence. There's no doubt about that. And you're very independent. You will do what it is you need to do when it feels right for you. Nobody can, they can give you all the information in the world. 
on what it is you could, should, or did. And until you're ready to make those steps, that's when it'll happen. And that's what you're doing. You're finding your own inner strength here and you're acting on it because you're in your back of your mind, you know, it's time to do it. And the Ace of Wands, look at that. Yeah, there's definitely opportunities here. You know, something's knocking at your heartstrings and it's telling you, you know, here it is. This is your opportunity. It will grow and it prosper. But, you know, take the steps necessary. And this could be in a new career for many of you, all right, as well, or a new project that you've thought about for, again, some time. And now it's your understanding you know, grab a hold of the brass ring and let's get going. And the Ace of Pentacles. So most definitely money coming in. This is, you know, if you had a question and you weren't quite sure which way to do it or go about it, you know, in, in the tarot cards, this is usually the yes card to a, a question. Like if you draw on one card and you've asked a question of whether I should do it or not do it, that's how that answers. Um, this is definitely a financial adventure for many of you. So you've, you know, maybe um, put some money away into a stock or a bond and, and on a whim that somebody said to you and they showed you how to do it and, and you're quite hesitant about it, but you're very excited about it as well. So, and it will pay off. It will just take some time, but the universe is helping you. Yeah, this is your... Oh, unlimited potential. So the sky's the limit. You know, all the things are starting to grow and prosper around her. And things in your life are starting to show its true colors. You're understanding what it is you have to do for the next step. This could be somebody in the family that has, you know, wandered away from the fold and now coming back or you've heard something about them not necessarily that they're knocking on your door but you've heard some news about you know where they are what they're doing that sort of thing but this is definitely you understanding this week that you have all the potential to succeed at whatever it is you want to do and you're taking those steps moving forward and the nine of rods yeah because you're tired <laughs> Ah, you poor soul. You've definitely had the courage and determination and you're trusting in your own faith. Trusting yourself. Knowing that, yeah, I've been through a lot and if I have to, I'll do it again. That sort of attitude. You're not taking, you know, anything from anybody. You're standing in your decision making this week. And the Ten of Rods. Yeah, look at that. Putting down the burdens. The extra responsibilities. The extra hard work that you've put into things and you're just saying that's it I'm done you guys want to you know always put this stuff on me and not give me any help or not you know whatever it happens to be you're done with that you're telling people now it's their turn to take their own responsibilities and do what it is they do and stop relying on you or asking you to do this and then not happy with the outcome of it or judging you in the meantime. And you're no longer accepting that from anything or anybody. And the hair font. Yeah, most definitely. Definitely, definitely. You know, getting out from underneath somebody else's thumb. You're understanding it's time for a change. And you're moving in that direction for yourself. You know, maybe somebody has always never given you the koodles that you deserve. You know, we may be in a relationship for some reasons and, and or a job and you've always put the time, labor and energy into things, but you've never gotten the rewards or the even the kudos saying that you did a good job and you're tired of that. But they always expect more, more. And you're making the decision to break away from that. And you're sticking to your guns this time. You are not changing your mind anymore about anything. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card, but your cards are all about change in, in many areas of your life. For a lot of you, this isn't a relationship. You're 
deciding to stand up for yourself. Yes, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Yeah, many of you may be definitely worried about your future finances. And these are Doreen Virtue's fairy tale cards. Change the way you look at the situation. Embrace your um, quirkiness. A temporary pause in the action. So take your time. All right. I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.